time, yo. Time for big boys boxing. I would never let a white boy be me. I would never let a white boy be me. Kia ora team and welcome back to Big Boys Boxing. I'm Johnny, your host, and as you come in, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Right, so today we're going in on the WBA. So many of you who have been boxing fans for a while uh, would have remembered the fiasco that the WBA went through with uh, Fraser Kendo years ago. He got a court order to challenge for this WBA regular title, uh, kept making fights to fight for it, and kept getting injured. But that court order stood for years, and Fraser Kendall was hanging around in the WBA rankings due to this court order. He never managed to make it into the ring. He finally retired and buggered off. So that got rid of that problem, oh, and the up, WBA have been talking about this title reduction program for years. They've been trying to get rid of these WBA regular titles and it looked like they had done it. Um, until to this day, they let to this day Don King What's piss up? around. Manuel Char was the WBA regular champion. Trevor Bryan was the mandatory challenger. Um, it eventually went to Perth, but Don King won it. The fight got made for an America, and then Don King refused to provide the necessary information for Manuel Char to get a working visa to get into the States to do the fight. So he never got in. Um, the WBA didn't do a goddamn thing about it. And then they let Don King's fighters fight for this title, and piss off with the belt and Manuel Char got left out in the cold. This happened twice, the same thing he did to Manuel Char twice and the WBA sat there watching, laughing pretty much and letting Don King do whatever the fuck he wanted. Corrupt as shit. But anyway, Manuel Char, well within his rights, went to court and got a ruling so he could get that belt back. So, have a listen to this, this is the article that... Um, stipulated the the resolutions terms, right? So, check it out. As part of a court settlement, the World Boxing Association (WBA) Championships Committee has reinstated Mahmoud Char as regular champion of the organization's heavyweight division. The WBA explained in a ruling. The agreement reached, which puts an end to a long dispute brought by the boxer and his team will allow the WBA to close this chapter, settling a dispute that has been going on for more than a year. After the fight in which Oleksandr Usyk defeated Daniel Dubois, the Ukrainian had remained as the only heavyweight champion. However, the organization is forced to make the decision to reinstate Char as regular champion in order to continue with the normal operation of the body. According to the ruling, the WBA, regular, title is not only back in play, and will now be at stake for two separate mandatory title defenses. Char, 34 to 4, 20 costs, was ordered to next face Brooklyn's Yarael Miller, an unbeaten fringe contender and multi-time drug testing offender, by no later than October 14th. The winner of that bout will then be required to next face the mandatory challenger as named by the WBA by that time. So they had a resolution, right? with those terms and this was all ordered by the court so if somebody doesn't comply with these terms the whole shit should go out the window and they can just chuck that belt away right that's what you won't believe unless Jarrell miller goes to court because he had been told by the wba that he was going to get a shot at this regular title so i'd been looking around for news october 15th couldn't find nothing no uh statements from the wba no fight being ordered 
because uh, they hadn't managed to make the flight by October 15th. I've been looking around thinking, what the hell's going on? Not hearing any news. They're just going to let it slide and forget about it. And the belt will be gone. But no, hang on. I've just come across another article. So this article from Boxing Scene came out on the 17th of October, but I hadn't found it until just now. Uh, so have a quick listen to this. The WBA regular heavyweight champion Mahmoud Cha will not defend the title against Yarael Miller as was previously planned or hoped. According to the agreement with Cha and the WBA, the fight had to be finalized by October 14th. However, due to financial reasons, the fight has not been made. Instead, the WBA has issued a resolution where Cha has 60 days to put together a defense against an opponent from the current ratings. More to come. So that's kind of weird, isn't it? Whatever the financial reasons are makes no freaking difference to a court order. If the financial issues were on Jarrell Miller's side and he couldn't make the fight for whatever reason. Well, I guess Char is entitled to fight somebody else, but they need to specify who he has to fight. And there was two mandatories he had to fight to hang on to this belt. All right, so he was supposed to fight Jarrell Miller and then a mandatory determined by the WBA when the time came. So let's just have a look at the rankings here. So as it stands of right now, we have Alexander Usyk, the champion of the WBA. We have Manuel Char with his pretend belt. And then we have Deontay Wilder at number one. Wilder wouldn't even think about fighting Char. There's no money in it, and it's a dumb fight. Martin Vicoli at number two. I'm not sure if this is refreshed after the weekend or not, after beating Carlos Takam. Martin Bacoli v Manuel Char. I think that could happen because neither of them are um, big money fighters. It could happen. Bacoli will beat the living snot out of Manuel Char. Anthony Joshua is ranked third. And Manuel Char has already said, I'm not really interested in a Joshua fight. Yeah, it brings good money, but I'm interested in legacy. Uh, I think if, if he was offered the fight, he would take it. But I think Anthony Joshua's got better first to fry than Manuel Mahmoud Cha. We've also got Lanier Pirro at number four, which is another possibility. I think even Lanier Pirro will uh, smash the shit out of Manuel Cha. As Limbic Mahmoudov at number five, there ain't no way he's getting in there with uh, Mahmoudov. He'll get smashed over. Uh, real quick, Gerald Miller at number six. For whatever reason, that fight's not happening. We haven't been given any reasons. Uh, Daniel Dubois at number seven. No, oh, there's a comeback fight for Dubois. He could smash over Manuel Char and get that title again. <laughs> uh, and Gerald Anderson at number eight. I don't think we even bother going any further down. We'll just have a quick nosy. Um, Jared Anderson at 8, Philip Hergovic at 9, he's busy with the IBF mandatory. Uh, Ivan Deitchko at number 10, he could try fight him but get his head boxed off on that one too I think. Fabio Wardley at 11, he'll get smashed over. Ajit Cabiel, Ajit Cabiel will probably box um, Manuel Char's ears off. <laughs> If I had Jugba at 13, he'd smash his head clean off. Um, Jonathan Guidry at number 14, Don King fighter. <laughs> I don't think there's a shit show in hell that Manuel Char will fight a, another Don King fighter by choice because he knows very well that the WBA will let Don King get away with shit. He'd probably end up with his belt fucking gone again without even setting foot in the ring. Get the fuck out of here, bro. And Frank Sanchez at number 15. I mean, for me, there's only two realistic opponents there that um, he could fight. I think Martin Bacoli 
he would take that fight just to get that belt and possibly get himself into a mandatory position. So Martin Bacoli is ranked number two with the WBA. Uh, who was the other one? Jarrell Muller's a no-go. Um, Daniel Dubois, I don't know if he'd be interested either. What was, who was the other one? Ejit Cabell. Uh, where's he? Ejit Cabell at number 12. I think those are the two most likely candidates. But what's baffling me really is why is the WBA now treating Manuel Char like a champion who's got all the rights to challenge who he wants? He had a fucking court order for him to get hold of that title. Two mandatories. He had a stipulated one. The WBA needs to pull finger out of their ass, stipulate someone that he has to fight to get this belt back, and then him and the number one guy in the WBA fight it out for the belt and the mandatory situation clean belt gone again simple what the fuck are the WBA doing they had a court order to adhere to it wasn't adhered to by the fighters so the belt should be able to be just thrown in the rubbish bin the conditions weren't met you're supposed to be trying to reduce your titles. Here's your opportunity. Why are you giving this dickhead who cheated his way out of a failed drug test the opportunity to get this belt back and have some push in a division where he is irrelevant? Realistically, Manuel Char is not even a top 50 heavyweight. What the fuck are these dickheads doing? It's a real toss-up for me at the moment, which is the worst, full of shit, corrupt governing body at the moment. It's a real, real competition between the WBA and the WBC. There's no excuse for it either because they are the two oldest governing bodies we have. They have had all the time in the world to get their shit sorted, to have it running right. The WBA makes all these stupid decisions that get themselves put in court and forced to do something. When the conditions aren't met, they don't dissolve the issue. They fucking make a new issue. That's stupid. The WBC, they move their rankings around to suit whoever they have as champion or who's been a previous champion, they give them all the respect in the world in the rankings. When fighters are coming off two losses in a row, like Deontay Wilder, for example, what the fuck is he doing still at number one with the WBC? He's had one fight against a shot Robert Hellenius since he lost twice to Toast of Fury. There is no way he should still be number one. But this, this video is about the WBA they really got rocks in their head honestly where, where's the common sense they think fans are just so stupid they can't see this dumb shit that they're doing they are so corrupt it's not funny it's disgusting but anyway let me know your thoughts. What should Manuel Char be doing right now? Should he be given the respect that a real champion gets? I know he had his belt taken from him unfairly, but he also tested positive and managed to get out of a suspension through a technicality. Um, his B sample was opened without him being present and <laughs> that's the whole lot out the window just like that off scot free so yeah i don't like it i really don't like it uh let me know your thoughts and tell me who do you think is the most corrupt or stupid or nonsensical governing body at the moment wba or wbc 
let me know. I look forward to your comments. I'll catch you in the next one. I'm Jono from Big Boys Boxing, and I am out.